This video will detail the TriStat2 HbA1c patient sample test procedure. For more information, please refer to the operator's manual and quick reference guide, which are available on our distribution portal, DNET. Before you begin, please ensure that the reagent tubes have been taken out of the refrigerator and are allowed to come to room temperature before the start of the test. Before a new reagent lot is used for the first time, the enclosed keycard must be scanned to transfer expiry date, lot number and calibration information to the analyzer. Ensure that the TriStat 2 is on, the warm-up is completed and the operator is logged in. Press the Run icon. Then press Reagent Keycard followed by Scan Keycard. Insert the keycard into the scanner and wait for the success message. The TriStat 2 measures the percent of glycated hemoglobin in fresh whole blood from finger stick or venous drawn samples. For venous drawn samples, place one drop of sample onto a non-absorbent surface and recap the tube. Alternatively, for finger stick samples, use a lancet device to draw a drop of blood from a patient's fingertip. Remove caps from three reagent tubes. Then remove the integrated collection capillary, ensuring not to spill any of the reagents. Place the tip of the capillary at an angle against the surface of the sample and allow to fill completely. Do not submerge. Discard the capillary if there are air bubbles present or any sample on the exterior. With the tip down, carefully place on the reagent tube with the capillary downwards. Hold the top and bottom of the reagent tube and shake 10 times, ensuring that the sample has mixed with the reagents and the gel has come off the bottom of the tube. Next, press patient sample. Input the patient ID and select which source the sample is from, venous or finger stick. Lift the lid and place the tube into the scanner with the barcode facing towards you. Rotate if necessary until the success message appears. Place the tube into a test position with the barcode facing the back right corner. Press the green icon to add another reagent tube and repeat this process for a second and third tube. It is important to scan and position all tubes within the three minute time frame. Close the lid when all tubes are in position and the test will start automatically. Results will display in 10 minutes and will be stored in the analyzer or can be exported to a USB.